Tonight, a guest at Green Springs Vacation Resort in James City County is calling for change in its lifeguard and staffing policies. The man tells 13 News Now he saw the aftermath of a child drowning. Police officers tell us the eight year old died in the hospital over the weekend. Angelique Aaron talk is in the studio now after speaking with that man. Angelique. The witness I spoke with is heartbroken as a father of four. He says he feels for the family rocked by what he describes as a preventable tragedy. He tells me he did not see pool lifeguards working at Green Springs Vacation Resort. Luis Belen of Northern Virginia recently stayed at Green Springs Vacation Resort in James City County for some rest and relaxation with family. But on Saturday night before 10 o'clock, he says he witnessed the moments after a child drowned at the large outdoor pool. It's been um, heartbreaking and burning at me. A police spokesperson tells us an eight year old had been swimming with family. Officers say people nearby jumped into action to try and save the child's life until medical professionals arrived. Belen says he called 911. I did not witness a proactive approach, an organized proactive approach from the hotel. Days since the incident, he tells me he has questions for resort managers and staff. Why don't you have a life car? And what are who certify and CPR that is readily available to assist your members and those that come to stay at your resort? Seen on Google Images, signs by the pools warn, quote, no lifeguard on duty. Belen calls on the addition of lifeguards as a preventable measure. Just because the law doesn't require it doesn't mean they shouldn't be doing it. There's a lot of families, especially during this peak season, that's there. James City County Police say emergency responders took the eight-year-old to Sintera Williamsburg Regional Medical Center. Hospital staff pronounced the child dead later Saturday evening. Green Springs Vacation Resort falls under Hilton Grand Vacations. A corporate spokesperson confirms with deep sadness a guest drowned. They offer condolences and add how the safety of their guests is their top priority. The company, however, did not respond to my questions about the lifeguard policy, nor CPR training and certification for staff. Back to you. Angelique, thank you. This drowning is also prompting a larger conversation about water safety, yeah, especially in the middle of a busy summer season. Adam Carl with the YMCA of Southampton Roads is stressing the importance of parents understanding the depth and rules at pools. He says going to places with a lifeguard is best. If you can't go somewhere guarded, Carl recommends Coast Guard approved flotation devices like life jackets. But in any scenario, he urges adults to always keep an eye on loved ones in the water. There is the misconception that when there's an aquatic incident that people will be able to call for help or you'll see a lot of movement and they'll be waving their arms. They can slide right under the surface. They may not be able to resurface at all. They may not be able to call for help. So that's why it's really important to have so many eyes available as possible. The Y offers a variety of swim classes. Even babies as young as six months old can participate with a parent in the water. Some lessons are free while others you'll need to pay for and there are scholarships available.